Hello everyone. Welcome to my another live streaming. It's the 16th of February 2020 on Sunday. So I hope you're having a great Sunday and weekend today. So on this live, I'll be talking about the Ichimoku Forex forecast. I will be going over each and every currency pairs, the major ones uh, that are related to pound, JP and Euro and US dollar and also gold and also Canadian data. And I will be explaining uh, each and every one of these single pairs and give you some forecast uh, for the upcoming week, next week. And also, uh, later part, I will be uh, going over the fundamentals, right? What kind of uh, fundamental news we have next week is the topic, sorry, is the topic for it um, on this uh, live stream here. So, yeah, and actually I was doing the live streaming uh, just earlier. I wa it was just a testing purpose. So I will be deleting uh, that archive uh, pretty maybe anytime soon. But yeah, uh, because I will be going to Dubai uh, next uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night in Japan time, I will, I will be going to Dubai. So um, yeah, in that case, right, the setup will be changed. I usually do this live streaming with uh, uh, two screens uh, in front of me. And on the upper screen, I show the chart and also your chat, you know, uh, chat histories. And also on this main, my um, main panel right here, uh, I show, uh, you know, my memos and also uh, the scripts and also what to talk about. So basically, I have two windows, but um, and two two monitors, physically. But uh, when I go to Dubai, I will bring I will bring this laptop, and it's going to be only one screen. So that's why I wanted to test out uh, if uh, the live with one screen can work perfectly or not, and that's why I was doing that um, live just earlier. So I didn't really talk about the forex. I was actually. Um, you know, going over how the chart looks like, and I decided to use the trading view while I'm in Dubai. And if it goes well, I will be keep using that uh, trading view uh, after I come back to Japan because I know that you know you, we can do a lot of things. Uh, we can draw lots of uh, you know uh, indicators and lots of like lines and tools are actually featured in the trading view. So I might be using that one eventually. So yeah, for now, I will be using this MT5 as usual to explain you how I would look at the chart. But now I have an option uh, to use the trading view. So maybe sometime I will be using that one. And um, yeah, yeah. So that will be a combination afterwards. So anyways, thank you for again joining on my uh, live streaming. So I will be going over each and every currency pairs uh, to, for the forecast for upcoming week, next week. Alright, so let's get started. So even though it's Sunday, thank you for your participation as always. So yeah, Raymond, thank you for joining. Alright, you come early, right, as always. It's great, it's great, Raymond. Thank you for joining. And also Lakshai too. I saw your live on uh, the first one, the test call. So yeah, thank you for joining again, Lakshay. You were waiting for this. Okay, great, great. So I will be explaining um, the yeah the uh, the analysis today. All right, and Matu is oh Jas Jasper. Thank you for joining as well. Go Ichimoku, go Ichimoku. All right, and Matu san yeah, I can be with you only ten minutes today. Okay, okay. So if you have uh, things to do, you can always reply. Uh, on the archive. Sure, thank you. Thank you, Mateo Wilson. Yeah, I will be having a safe trip to Dubai and come back to Japan. So while I'm in Dubai, I will be doing the live streamings every day, possibly. So yeah, I will be connecting with you too from Dubai. All right, all right. And okay, Raymond san yes. Yep. Okay. And Dewey, thank you for joining as well. Yeah, and earlier, thank you for sharing me your, um, you know, uh, knowledges about trading view. It was great. It was great that uh, you everybody lectured uh, the trading view for me, Lakshai and Dewey and everybody else, Matewitsan, 
um, and also Aditya. Aditya san was actually lecturing me a lot about the trading view, so that was a great session. So, all right, let's get started right now. <clears throat> so, let's check out some charts, and I will be going over uh, each currency pairs that the pairs that are listed here. And yeah, Raymond san, sorry, I will be making these letters a little bigger. Uh, sometime but for now this is only memo that I have right now so today I will be using this one but I am actually finding uh, trying to find uh, the better uh, memo tool because these letters are pretty small right for everyone especially when you are looking at, at it from the mobile it might be too small on these letters so I will be switching this uh, memo tool to other thing and I am actually searching for it. So if you know any good memo tool, um, you can actually let me know by the chat box or you can uh, kindly email me for the tool. I'm actu actually using Mac. So um, yeah. But yeah, and this is actually the biggest letters that I can choose for this uh, memo, default memo setting on this MacBook. So. Yeah, I will be keep talking about the chart about this uh, from this memo. Okay, okay. So, hi Fabio, thank you for joining from Italy. All right, all right. Italy, it's is it still warm in Italy or is it cold? In Japan, it's raining right now. It's raining so hard. So, yeah. All right, Wasan. Hi K, former suit back again. Sure, sure. <laughs> yep, I am with a shirt again because on the first live I was wearing the pucker. So yeah, today I'm formal because this is the official live. <laughs> yep. Okay, Raymond san it's good today. Okay, so you can see these letters. That's great. That's great. Okay, Jeroen. And hi, Ichimokers. <laughs> That's right, Ichimokers. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let's take a look at this uh, Euro JP here. And I will be going over the daily chart so that you know overall market, how they look like. All right, so Euro JP daily chart. Let's take a look at it. And if we look at the Kumo, right, it's moving down slightly. So this is slightly bearish trend but this is still weak and young the kumo itself is still young it just twisted here and it's sloping down now so currently as you look at the market too it's been going down this is a reverse in wave <coughs> reverse in wave so right now it's going down basically right no doubt this is the bearish trend and you can look for the sell chance in this case uh, Kijun Sen is technically moving horizontal right now, so you better wait for the Kijun Sen to be moving downwards to place the sell next time. But overall, this is a bearish trend, so you can look for the sell chance. And also, Chikospan broke the recent low too, right? So this is pretty steady bearish trend. So on this one, you can look for the sell chance, right? So this is down. EuroJP is downtrend, so I will be keep looking for the sell chance. So this is going to be on my watch list. So, so I will put the dollar mark here so that I know this is a trade chance to sell. All right, and when you look at the Bollinger Band, uh, right now the price is actually very close to deviation 2, right? This is the deviation 2 right here, and this one is a deviation 1. So this is deviation 2, this is deviation 1. So right now the price is almost reaching towards the deviation 2. So that means this bearish momentum is quite strong. And that means that the market might reverse to the upside. Reverse to the upside. And so we have to look for the pullback uh, next time to place a sell. And yeah, based on this daily chart, it has been going down. So you can draw another, uh, you can draw a descending trend line like this. And when the market re is rejected by this descending trend line, that might be a sell chance too. 
So overall, EURJP is going down. So basically, this is the bearish momentum. All right. I think you, uh, USD CHF is interesting for upcoming week. It's about to make Sanic content on daily and on stable trend on lower time frames. All right, all right. Thank you for letting me know, Jasper. That's a good information. Um, in my broker, it doesn't support USD CHF, so I cannot show you the chart, unfortunately. But yeah, um, see USD CHF, if you're interested, please take a look at it uh, on the daily chart. Uh, looks like it's been a Sanyang Koten and it's moving up now. So you can look for the buy chance on that case. All right. So, and hi, Jeroen. In Holland, we have wind force 8 to 9 on the coast. Wow, okay, okay. So you better be careful for, for the wind. All right, all right. Okay, so let's see. Euro dollar, uh, sorry, Euro JP, it's going down. So this is the bearish trend. All right, first of all. And let's move on to the pound yen. Okay, pound yen da daily chart right now. This is horizontal. Kumo has been moving horizontal right now. Single span B is slightly moving up and now it's becoming horizontal. And also, Kijun Sen has been completely flat here, right? completely flat so in this case there is no direction in the market so we cannot take buy or sell based on the daily chart and also you cannot really take buy or sell in the lower time frames because uh, the market has been in a range right it's been supported by this line a couple of times and in the top at the top here you can draw a trend line like this so um, we can expect the price to be breaking this Kumo upwards, but uh, overall this is no direction in the market, so the market can reverse to the downside or upside, right? So we never know which way the market is going in this case, case basically. So on this daily chart, right, based on the daily chart in pound yen, no trend. So. I will just wait and see if the price is going to be breaking this recent low or re recent high or this tr uh, trend line upwards to place a buy. But right now, this is right in the middle of the range, so we cannot really take buy or sell. And plus, when you look at the Bollinger Band, it's expanding, right? The Bollinger Band has been expanding right now, and this is not the squeeze. This is like the parallel and this is not the squeeze. So it also confirms me that uh, we cannot take buy or sell in this case. Basically, the market is in the range moving up and down right now. Like in the past here, the Bollinger Band, band was squeezing, right? This is the squeeze. But right now, this is not really squeezing. So yeah, that means that the market can go either up or down and the market doesn't have enough energy to break it upwards or downwards because basically Bollinger Band is still relatively wider here. All right, so pound yen again on daily chart, there is no trend in the market. So I will, I think I will pass this one for next week. And let's take a look at the Euro Pound. Okay, Euro Pound daily chart. All right. I opened a pound dollar sell trading from Turkey. Okay, okay, pound dollar sell. All right, so I will be looking at the pound dollar next one. So let's just take a look at this euro pound daily chart. And it has been moving down quite steadily, but right now this is in a range too. And the price is actually close to the recent low here, right? But when you look at the Kumo, right now it's been horizontal. And single span B is completely flat here, right? It's been flat. So basically, in this case, the market can go either up or down in this case. Right? Basically, in Ichimoku theory, uh, the market doesn't have any uh, movement or to buy or sell, right? Up or down. Basically, this is in the range based on this Ichimoku theory. And also, when you look at the Kumo right now, it just twisted 
to the bearish Kumo, but it doesn't mean that the market can keep going down. Um, so yeah, so that means it might be creating the double bottom here and it might reverse to the upside would be one of the cases. And I can see that this support is quite strong. So uh, there is a chance for the rejection, right? Support and the market uh, keeps going up from here. So you have to watch out for that. Uh, we cannot expect a break uh, just one time here. It might take a couple more days for the breakout to the downside. And yeah, and as you can see it and on the Bollinger Band, it just started to expand here, right? It just started to expand. So the bearish momentum is quite strong in this uh, daily chart. So we have to wait and see if the price is going to be breaking this support line downwards or not. And if it does, then it might go all the way down. So you can follow to sell. But right now, the price is just at the recent low here. So we have to wait and see if it's going to be breaking downwards or not. And plus, when you look at the Kijun Sen here, it just became horizontal, right? It just became horizontal right now. So it also means that the market is uh, weak and bearish now. So there are chances still that the market can push back up to some point to the Kumo maybe or to Kijun Sen and it will create it might create a range for a couple more days so whether the market is going to break out this recent support or not is going to be a topic on this euro pound but overall there's no trend in the market as kumo has been moving horizontal and kijun sen horizontal and bollinger band is kind of expanding right now so yeah there's no momentum right there's no direction in the market trend in the market so we have to be careful on this case all right all right i think cat jp will go down okay uh bernard i will be taking a look at the cat jp later on so stay tuned for that all right so let's move on to pound dollar and see if it's on the trend or not Okay, so pound dollar right now, again, this is in the range, right? Kumo has been completely horizontal right now. And it just twisted to the bearish Kumo, but Kumo itself is not really moving down, right? Kumo itself has been horizontal. So basically, this is in uh, the range, right? Bas basically, this is in the range. And also, looks like the price has been uh, in the range, slightly moving down, slightly moving down edge here when you draw a trend line like this and after the breakout it's been slightly moving down uh, the lows are getting lower and the highs are getting lower too when you look at these highs these are getting lower and lower and these lows are getting lower and lower too so basically this is the bearish channel right bearish channel so there might be a price there may be a timing where the price is going to be rejected at some point and keeps going down downwards. So this is something that we can expect here in this market momentum uh, just by looking at this price action. But when you look at this Kumo here, it's been horizontal. So in the long term, it means that the market has no direction. So that means that the market can go either up or down. So even if you see the setup like this, the uh, the bearish wedge on the market, we have to prepare for the breakout of this descending trend line upwards still. There might be a chance for that. So we have to be careful on that. And also Kijun Sen has been completely flat too. So that means that also the, there is no trend in the market. So pound dollar no trend in the market. So I would prefer to wait if the price is going to be rejected by this descending trend line next time. And if it goes down, then that might be a sell chance. And in that case, the, the next target is going to be on this uh, trend line, like this way, sorry. The next target is going to be on this one. 
right here. All right. So yeah, price action wise, this is downtrend bearish flag. So you can actually expect the price to be keep going down. So you have to look at the Kijun Sen uh, angle. If it starts to go down in this daily chart, it might be a sell chance. And also when you look at the single span B and when it goes down, then that might be a sell chance too. So right now, yeah, um, we have to wait and see if this price is going to be rejected by this descending trend line or not, is the forecast on the pound data here. All right, and moving on to the next one, USDJPY. Okay, USDJPY currently is kind of tricky right now because it has been going up and down. Quite volatile, right? Quite volatile here. But the Kumo itself has been completely flat right now. And also single span B is completely flat. It's completely flat. So that means there's also there's no trend in the market. Right? There is no trend in the market. So it can go either up or down from here. So instead of taking buy or sell, I would prefer to wait for the breakout on this uh, recent highest uppers and I will be taking a buy. I will be looking for a buy chance after the breakout or if it goes down, then I will be, yeah, if it goes down, then this uh, formation becomes a double top here and the market keeps going down and I will wait and see if the price is going to be breaking this Kumo downwards or not. That will be uh, two scenarios here. So right now, we never know which way the market is going. So um, in this case, we better look at the you know different charts or we better look at the different time frames, like the lower, lower time frames to place buy or sell. But based on this daily chart as a major trend, uh, you know, there is no trend in the market. All right. So it's basically moving up and down right now. And recently, right, recently the lows gets higher here, but the market, when you look at the market, it didn't renew the recent high uppers, right? It didn't renew the recent high uppers. So basically this is like the triangle range here. So it may persist like this, right? It may persist like this. And so that means market can go all the way down to this way, and then it's gonna bounce off and move down and bounce off and eventually breaks breaks it upwards or downwards either way but right now at this moment we cannot say um, anything about it because um, you know there's no confirmations for this support right there's no confirmations so we better basically look at the uh, lower time frames to capture the uh, the market situation in this case so USDJPY has no direction in the market. So it's been quite a difficult uh, month, basically in this right uh, in this February, it's been quite a difficult month because um, all the pairs are very difficult to take trades. It's been volatile and also it's been uh, moving up and down. So you have to place a tight stop loss as tight as possible, and also uh, you have to risk your own trades. Due to all these newses in the world, you have to be careful on these spikes on the market. All right, so let's move on to the Euro data here. Euro data daily chart by looking at this Ichimoku here, right? First of all, this is a downtrend. So this is a pair that we want to look for, look at next week. So this is a beautiful bearish trend. The market has been moving down straight, right? And it broke the recent low downwards right it broke the low that marked on the last september downwards here now and chikospan broke the recent low too so this is uh, clearly the bearish momentum so we can basically look for the sell chance in this case right so this is a good one to take trade so right now it's moving down so i will put the dollar mark here so Euro data daily chart is going down, so we can look for the sell chance, right? And um, the Kijun Sen has been moving down too, right? It's not horizontal, 
it's moving down right now. So basically, we can look for the sell chance in this case. All right, let me just put the Fibonacci, sorry, uh, Bonja bands and see how the price has been strong here. Okay, wow, so when you look at the Bollinger Band, it's all the way down at the deviation 2, right? It's actually hided by this these candles, but basically deviation 2 is like moving this way, and it's actually going along with this deviation 2. So it's been quite strong, and in this case, basically, we can look for the sell chance, right? By looking at the lower time frame, so you can capture the trading edge to sell. And but we also have to be careful for the reverse to the upside because when the market has been moving down quite strongly, there should be a retracement backwards. So in this case, it might be retraced back up to this deviation one or Tenkan Sen here, right? And if the market uh, persists to the downside, then it keeps going down by rejecting uh, with one of these lines. But if the market comes all the way back up to uh, this uh, Kijun Sen here, um, you have to be careful, right? You have to stop up uh, thinking to sell, basically. It might change the momentum to the upside. But as long as the price has been uh, sitting down below this Tenkan Sen or Deviation 1 of Bollinger Bands, you're good to sell. You're good to sell. I will be looking for the sales chance next week from Dubai. <laughs> basically all right so single span b has been moving down too right and kijun sen is moving down so this is quite a strong bearish momentum here all right all right i sold your daughter it was such a beautiful trade still holding it great great lakshay that's great that's great so yeah, yeah, if you keep holding it, that's great. You can just keep holding it as long as the price has been sitting below this deviation 1 or uh, Tenkan Sen here. And when it touches, that might be a take profit timing. But as long as the price has been band walking between this deviation 1 and 2 or Bollinger Bands, you can uh, keep holding that sell. Okay, this is a great trend to actually follow. All right, so next, let's take a look at the US CAD, USD CAD, and daily chart. All right, so on this USD CAD, USD CAD daily chart, it's a little tricky here because uh, the market is actually moving up and down, up and down. So slightly this is bearish side. Slightly this is bearish because the lows are getting lower. Uh, sorry, the highs are getting lower and lower. Slightly, right? When you look at the highs, they are getting lower and lower. Well, actually, on these highs, they are almost like at the same level. But it has been going down. And also lows, when you look at the lows, it has been going down too. So price action wise, this is a downtrend, right? This is downtrend. But when you look at the Kumo here, this is moving up in daily chart. This is moving up, basically. After it twisted to the bullish Kumo, it's mo moving up, right? So, yeah, in this, based on this Ichimoku theory, and also Kijun Sen has been moving up too. So, based on Ichimoku here, this is uptrend. So, there might be a chance that the price is going to be uh, turning to the upside, to this way. And it might reach to this level here. So that's something that we can expect in this case. But overall, when you look at the chart from the August last year, it has been going down. Basically, the highs are getting lower and lower, and the lows are getting lower too. So there are chances when the price is going to be rejected by this top, and it might keep going down this way right is my view here so in short term this is uptrend by looking at the kumo and kijun sen here it's uptrend so we can take a buy right we can look for buy but in this case the target can be the recent high which is in number which is about um 1.331 level up to 
um, yeah, 1.332 or 3 level. So, yeah, this is going to be the resistance. So, whenever you place a buy, this might be the potential target. And right now, it's going up now. So, we can expect the price to be keep extending towards the upside. So, I will just put this one as a uh, uptrend all the way to the recent high. Okay, so this is something we have to watch out. Uh, yeah, next week. All right, all right. Hi, CK. Thank you for joining too. All right. Okay, Jeroen says, Euro dollar, I setting it. Also, my stop loss is 4 hour 10 cans in previous high. Okay, that's great, that's great. So, you put the stop loss at the, uh, slightly above the 10 cans in high. And uh, yeah, you can keep holding that sell. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, so that was USDCAD here, and so yeah, USDCAD it was its uptrend right now, and let's take a look at the CAD JPY. All right, on this CAD JPY here, let's see. Um, this one right now, it's uh, basically, right? First of all, when you look at the Kumo here, this is horizontal. After the twist of the Kumo to the bearish side, this is uh, basically Senko Span B is horizontal. And also, Kijun Sen has been completely flat here. So, so that means that the market can go either up or down. Right, the market can either up or down. So this is Ichimoku uh, analysis here. And Chikou Span just broke these candles downwards. So we don't have any trade signals based on the Ichimoku here. So I will just put no trend. Okay, and now let's take a look at the price action here. All right, so by looking at the price action right now, um, it has been going up and I think this is still in the middle of the uptrend because when you look at these lows, it's getting higher and higher. The lows are getting higher and higher, right? So, um, unless the price breaks the recent low downwards, this is still the uptrend. And that's in, in terms of the uh, wave theory, this is the uptrend. Okay? So, and also the highs, right? These highs are getting higher and higher. The highs are renewing the highs even. So the recent retracement was quite strong, but after that, the market has been going up now, right? So to me, this is still the uptrend, and the market is looking like to be breaking this recent high upwards based on the price action, all right? But I wouldn't take buy or sell because Kijun Sen is not moving up, or Senko Span B is moving up. So I wouldn't take place sell, uh, buy in this case. And also, when you look at the, the Bollinger Bands, right, it's squeezing, right? It's squeezing right now. Mm. So we have to wait for the squeeze like this in the past, right? We have to wait for the squeeze more, and uh, the price will be charging its energy for the next move and it's going to go up or downwards. So we have to wait for the Bollinger Band to be squeezing more and more here. And we have to wait for the market to be charging its energy um, for the next move, basically. But until then, it might be quite uh, strong here. It might be quite uh, volatile, and it doesn't have any direction in the market. Yeah, Lakshai, that's right. Yeah, no momentum, cat JP, right? According to the lagging line, there is no momentum. Exactly. When you look at this Chikou span here, yeah, basically it broke the candlestick downwards, but it's right afterwards, uh, the market is actually going up this way. So, yeah, basically this is still in the range, but overall, in this uh, price action, this is uptrend. So, we can still look for the upside trace. Is my view. All right. 
So, and let's take a look at the gold finally, right? Alright, so this is a gold chart. And the gold has been moving up, actually. It's been moving up. Uh, Kumo, right? When you look at the Kumo right now, it's moving up, right? It's moving up. And also, when you look at the Senko Span B here, this is sloping up now. So this is uptrend, right? This is uptrend. And when you look at the Kijun Sen, it was moving down previously and now becoming horizontal. So we just have to wait and see if the Kijun Sen is going to be pointing upwards, then we can take buy. All right. So right now, technically, this is uptrend. On gold, this is uptrend. So I will put this one on my watch list. And I will just wait for this Kijun Sen to be moving upwards to place a buy. And in that case, we're going to expect the price to be breaking these recent highs even upwards. All right. So let's take a look at the Bollinger Bands and see how the market has been moving right now. All right. So this is the Bollinger Band. And when you look at it, yeah, the price is almost reaching towards the deviation 2 here. So yeah, there might be a reverse, right? There might be a reverse to the downside. Because whenever price touches on this deviation 2, um, usually right, um, it's going to be rejected and goes backwards. So yeah, uh, deviation 2 touch is going to be uh, uh, very care you have to be very careful about that. But right now, it's going up for now. So even if you take a buy on this gold, you can just expect the price to be breaking this recent high upwards and keep extending the profit. All right, all right. So gold is moving up right now. Okay, okay. And finally, just for your reference, just take a look at the US 100. And it's been going up quite strong, right? I feel that this is too strong. Uh, you know, the US economy is quite strong, but you know, this is very quite strong. So even if there are in news, you know, in all sorts of news about the pandemic and everything, the stock market has been going up. So no doubt this is uptrend. So US economy is quite strong right now. So any pairs that US dollar related, right, you have to be careful because uh, like US pound dollar is going to be might be going down because US is quite strong. So and pound has been quite weak now. So looks like pound dollar might be going down this way. You know, uh, just by looking at this uh, stock market, we can tell about that. And let's see. Uh, right now, so no doubt this is going up. It's been the Kumo has been moving up, and Tenkan Sen is also moving up too. And the price has been all the way up above this deviation one and has been moving up right now. So, yeah, this is quite, quite strong bullish momentum here. So, US 100 is moving up. And finally, take a look at the JP225. And yeah, right now JP225 has been testing the most recent high price. Uh, this price level of uh, 24141 level. And right now it's retracing backwards, but I am expecting the price to be keep going upwards this way and retest this line a couple of times more. So yeah, based on this, it says that the JP uh, economy is also uh, relatively stronger. It's moving up right now. So uh, due to the news about the virus and everything, we have to be careful about the spikes on any pairs. But uh, yeah, JPY is relatively strong too right now. So we can also see that uh, any pairs that are related to JPY, right, you have to be careful like uh, pound yen or J USD JPY or Euro JPY, 
uh, it might be uh, keep going down because as as uh, JPY is going to be keep buying. All right. I don't know why, but I feel like gold will be down this whole year. But again, we never know. Sure, sure. Yeah, we never know. But so it's like your prediction, right? It's like a prediction. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If uh, the price is going to be rejected by the sign or even before. We will see on that one. Okay. So yeah, JP225, I just put no trend because I uh, yeah, the Kumo is horizontal. Kumo is horizontal and Kijun Sen is horizontal too. So there's no trend in the market. Okay. So that's about it for the each currency pairs and gold and uh, US and JPY uh, stock markets. So basically uh, next week, right right now in daily chart, uh, Euro JP is downtrend and also Euro US is downtrend and USD CAD is moving up and gold is moving up right now. So these are the four pairs that you, want, you might want to be taking a look at and look for the trade chance. Okay, but the other ones are basically no trend in daily chart. So you have to look at the lower time frames to take trades. Okay. All right, and finally, let's take a look at what kind of news we have next week. And I will be ending the live. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, you know, there are still one seat available for this Forex Group Mentoring in March to May. So if you're interested, uh, you know, you can just directly email me so that I will be putting on you on the list. All right. It's going to be three months or March, April, May. And you will have a one-on-one -on -one direct Skype uh, connection uh, four times within this group. So, yeah. If you're interested, there are some, uh, you know, just one seat available still. All right. So let's take a look at the economic calendar. And next week is going to be from 17th. All right. So let's see. Let's see. So on Monday, usually we don't have any news right Monday so yeah on Monday we have no news all right hold on before I proceed let me enlarge let me just hide this uh, chat box and also let me enlarge it so that you can exactly see what's happening on the market all right there we go okay so on Monday as you can see right uh, there are no specific like important news uh, next Monday on the 17th and on the following day on Tuesday uh, there's AUD uh, related news so whoever uh, trading AUD you have to be careful <clears throat> and also there is a pound news right unemployment rate this is going to impact the market definitely especially right after the Brexit uh, you know, news, we have to be careful about the pound news. So yeah, on Tuesday, we have pound unemployment rate. Okay, and later we have a uh, survey in Germany. Okay, so EU, we have survey on Tuesday and also yeah, that's it. That's it for on Tuesday. Okay, and on uh, Wednesday 19th, we have consumer price index on pound and this is going to definitely impact the market. So CPI on pound. Okay, and what else we have? We have uh, CAD, uh, consumer price index too in CAD. All right. So CAD, we have CPI too. And also in the US, there is FOMC, right? This is going to definitely impact the market too. So 
FOMC is coming in the US, of course. So that's gonna happen on next Wednesday on the 19th. All right, and on the Thursday, we have AUD uh, employment ch change. So when you are looking at the pairs uh, with the AUD related, you have to be careful on it next Thursday. And also uh, we have uh, interest rate in China. Okay, and yeah, later on we have a monetary policy meeting on Euro. <clears throat> All right, so on Thursday we have Euro uh, related news here, monetary policy. All right, and I guess that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so on the last day Friday, the 21st, we have another Euro related pair. Uh, pair news, right? Market manufacturing, right? Uh, in Germany. So in EU, we have market manufacturing. All right, and also we have another market PMI and Euro itself. All right. And also we have a market service, a PMI in Germany. All right. Okay, and finally we have uh, uh, retail sales in Canada. So CAD retail sales. All right. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So overall we have lots of news related to pound and euro. Um, next week and also US FOMC here. Alright, so just gi to give you a quick review here, by this note, on Monday we have no, yeah, on Monday we have no um, news here, right? No news, but on Tuesday we have pound uh, related news and also EU news, right? And on Wednesday we have pound and CAD and FOMC in the US. And on Thursday we have a Euro monetary policy and on Friday we have a Euro uh, uh, related news twice and also pound and also CAD, right, CAD. And that's about it for next week. So for those who are taking trades with uh, pound EU and CAD USD uh, and uh, yeah, that's it, right? So those four pairs, right, will be impacting the market next week. So we have to be always careful for that. All right. So let's see. Let me read some comments here because I have been keep talking. So, yeah, sure, sure. So that's about it for upcoming week. Okay, so I hope you have a great, great weekend towards uh, today, right? This uh, towards today, it's Sunday. I will be going out and I don't think I will be doing the live streaming after this for today. It's Sunday and I have to go out to prepare for the Dubai trip. So yeah, uh, I will be doing another live tomorrow. So I will see you there. And until then, you have a great, great Sunday and stay gold. All right. Bye for now. Good luck on the trace next week.